really kind of an anonymous. Um, and, and he just went on, on camera with blurred in a dark room. And, and he, he was, you know, saying what he was saying. Um, so, you know, there's no way of actually um, them verifying that with, you know, mm. with anything. So, yeah. So that, it, it, it was just, well, like I said, it was the dark side that bothered me. It, it was just the dark side that I thought, you know, because mm. I thought, well, you know, you get what you get. You, you wanted, that's what you wanted, and that's what you got. Yeah. Did he give you the result? You know, yes. Um, and some of them went for seconds, you know. I say it in a, in a, in a very respectful way, but they went for yeah. second, second trials. Um, and, you see, that would be an interesting part of it, that clearly the women were very alarmed, disturbed and angry about it, so they filed this case against the man. But it would be interesting to know whether whether they are basically satisfied and happy with the child they got, or whether they feel that the the profile they accepted clearly wasn't the one that they actually got. And maybe they feel, well, we don't know anything about this man. He probably didn't have his own um, honest profile. Perhaps he did, but maybe he didn't. Um, so, yeah, it would be interesting to know if, as you say, the women got their child or children. They must presumably love those kids. So that this is more of an academic exercise in stopping this man doing what he was doing but yeah. it'd be interesting to know from i mean in the documentary did they interview any of the women concerned yeah they did yeah they, they did yes so it was it was it, the documentary was mainly uh from the women's perspective really um right. yeah so the guy didn't get to say much because he had a he had loads of stuff on on youtube um that mm. he put up um that he put up himself, so it was it was it wasn't hard to get, um, yeah, to get to get pictures and and actual uh, motion pictures of of himself uh, on camera, so they were able to just cut from that and you know uh, slice it into the program. But in the end, um, I don't know how they managed to get this interview, but it was like it was like a like a one minute thing where he just said. That he felt he felt victimized because he he obviously yeah. was helping the women. Yes, and to answer that to to answer your question there, the women were actually satisfied with what they got. Mm -hmm. They were, yeah, because you know they uh, actually when the news broke, when the whistleblower came up and said about you know mixing up of the semen, um, one of one of the women actually went and did a DNA test. Um, I don't know how they was able to get his DNA. The guy was called Jonathan, uh, I think Jonathan Major or something. It was it was a Dutch. Um, so they were. I don't know how they were able to get his DNA. I suppose maybe it's mm. not too hard to get his DNA because they had. Um, anyway, but um, the women were happy with it. One of them had two, and she was happy. She was happy with what she got. Um, so one of them actually had to go and do a DNA to. Uh, then be able to ascertain if that was yeah. actually his, and and it came back positive. Um, so the it was it was mainly the the women. I think the women in Australia started it, and then the women in 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 uh, in America joined in, and and then they went to the they went to New York Post. Yeah, I suppose it's very big yeah. in America, like a like a newspaper that's big in America, and they got the. Um, they got the message out there, you know, publicly, just you know, sort of like a manhunt. Thing. You know, sort of like a manhunt thing um, against the guy, um, which. I feel in some ways it's justified, in some ways it isn't. It's but not, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I mean, I, I looked. What I, was it called? Sorry, what was the documentary called? I 
think it was called the man with a thousand kids on 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 Netflix. All oh, right, okay, I'll I'll, I'll find yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, I'll it's to see quite it. yeah, it's quite interesting. Um, there's Hmm. a lot of there's a lot of um, concerns concerns that was raised. Um, so it the guy would probably have a whole nation just running around because those children are going to have their children, and he's going to be he's going to be a granddad having kids all over the world. <laughs> you know having. I mean, I, <laughs> I can't, I can't. <laughs> I can think of one or two famous rock stars who <laughs> are in the same situation, really. Can you? I, I can't. I can't think of any rock stars that's in that situation. Because <laughs> he, I think he's is quite rapid and it's, it's it's quicker, isn't it? Because you know, he's not. He he doesn't actually to. He doesn't actually need to be physically there, and No, it of course not. yeah. No. So, so over over a period of six months, he could have successfully um, uh, fertilized uh, thousands of eggs over. You know, As you say, he must have gone to a lot of different places because he, did. he couldn't afford to be seen more than once every whatever it is six months in the same place, could he? So, yeah. Uh, he'd have had to spread his wings far and wide, I guess. <laughs> it was on a, one of the clinics. <laughs> one of the clinics. They actually showed. They actually showed us the their um, the website, and right. and he he came he came top on the website. He actually ran out, and they had, they had to call him back. No. <laughs> I didn't believe it. Gosh. <laughs> Unbelievable, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, there was there was some there was some that were quite, you know, the, when he first started, he had a lot of fans, and sometimes he'd go to their houses. Oh yeah, and and, and sometimes he actually went to their houses to, to, to donate, you know, <laughs> to do it to do it directly. Yeah. Wow. wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I watched that and I thought, well, each to their own. <laughs> yeah, sounds a good chat up line, doesn't it, really? <laughs> I, can I can give you, give you a child. <laughs> I can give you babies, <laughs> beautiful ones. <laughs> yeah. How many do you want? As you say, it's a it's a bit of a God complex as well, somewhere in there, isn't there? Yeah, no, no, yeah this is this is yeah. it. Uh, it's a bit of a of a God complex there, yeah. Right, so um on that note, uh, Trevor, I think we can successfully bring the show to a close. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, do you want to do the... Uh... Yeah, well, hope you've found what we've been talking about interesting, listener, or hopefully listeners, <laughs> watchers, viewers. Um, yeah, so we'll be back next week, same time, same place. And uh, I've been Trevor Gear on this podcast. And I've been Emma Hickens, and you've been uh, viewing and listening to The Alien Spaceship. Join us again. Excellent.